What's up guys, Jimmy Chang here with Andrew. Wait, this isn't Andrew, this is Ethan. Ethan's my son, Andrew and I, we both have normal day jobs and Andrew's at his job right now. Luckily, my son Ethan, he's home from college and he's here to help me with this unboxing. Inside this box, we have an older electric unicycle that was the talk of the town when it was first released and now they've made a very substantial upgrade to make this electric unicycle pretty darn awesome. It's got more power, and because of this change that we're gonna talk about, it has now fulfilled what this electric unicycle was meant to be. In this box is the new King Song S18 Special Edition. Special shout out to E-Wheels for sending this electric unicycle to us to review. And voila, this comes really nicely packaged. So first off in this box, instructions for the DNM suspension, foldable shock pump. E-Wheels always sends their electric unicycles with wrist guards. The power cable, it comes with a charger that is 2.5 amps. So not super big, but not terrible. And then this little block, do not throw away for pumping suspension. Let's unravel this. Kingsong S18, when it first came out, it took the electric unicycle world by storm because up until that point, all electric unicycles look like something that should be cleaning your kitchen floor like a Roomba or something that you should be rolling around at an airport. The Kingsong S18 changed everything with its lines, its curves, its aggressive appearance, and its awesome looking suspension. So why is this Kingsong S18 special? With the special edition sold by E-Wheels, you can get a new battery pack called the Molly Cell Pack. And from this Molly Cell P42A pack, you can get four times the power from the battery cells. But I'm no expert, and so to learn more about why these Molly Cell batteries are special, let's ask my friend and battery expert, Mario Contino. Mario, tell us what you think about these Molly Cell batteries. Thank you very much for having me on, Jimmy. Now, when presented with the choice of cells between the LG M50LT or the Molly Cell P42A, I do believe in almost every single case, the better choice is the Molly Cell P42A. Better, better choice, choice is the Molly Cell P42A. And the main reason for that is voltage sag. Now, voltage is basically the electrical pressure that makes electrons move. At rest, a full lithium ion battery cell measures at 4.2 volts. And when you draw current from a cell, similarly to opening a faucet, the pressure drops. And this is seen in the form of voltage sag. And how much that voltage actually sags depends on some of the characteristics of that specific cell. Now, a higher capacity low current cell like the MG M50LT, which is commonly known as a energy cell or a storage cell, will have more voltage sag because in order to have more capacity in the cell, it will also have a higher internal resistance. The cell's internal resistance is literally how much it resists the flow of electricity through the cell. And higher capacity cells usually have a higher internal resistance, leading to more voltage sag. Cells like the Molly Cell P42A, which are commonly called power cells, generally have a lower capacity, but a much lower internal resistance. And so for the equivalent size, shape, and configuration of battery, a cell like the Molly Cell P42A will have much lower voltage sag. And that simple fact resonates throughout the entire system of a PEV. One example is when the motor controller or the ESC is drawing power to drive the motor, a drop in voltage from the power source, the battery, will actually require more current in order to make up the equivalent wattage sent to the motor. And this is actually something you can feel. If you've ridden either a one wheel or an electric unicycle and you've felt the perceived torque from the motor start to sag or drop out a bit, that is a result of voltage sag from the battery echoing all the way through the system. If the battery sags too much and the motor becomes starved of power, that can lead to face plants, nose dives, cutouts of all sorts. It really depends on the actual battery level that's remaining, but that sag does cascade and usually results in something that you perceive as a rider. Another effect of voltage sag is actually the end result of the mileage that you could get on any given charge. As current is drawn from the battery, the voltage continues to drop as you empty the cells out, and motor controllers are programmed with a low voltage cutoff in order to not overdrain the battery and damage it. Cells with less voltage sag actually end up delivering a much more constant drop in voltage throughout the entire charge range, which in many cases ends up delivering more energy and more range 
despite the lower actual capacity rating of the cell. Which sounds counterintuitive, but the effects of voltage sag and an application like an electric unicycle do end up translating into those kinds of effects. In almost every single case, choosing a cell with a lower capacity but a much higher discharge rating leads to more range, less sag, and a more consistent experience from the top to the bottom of your charge. So thank you, Jimmy, again for having me on, and I hope I was at least a little bit helpful. So we've got the air suspension chamber there, the shock. Ethan, what pressure should we put, be putting in there? Um, let's see. For the main air chamber, maximum pressure is 250 PSI. And then for the negative air chamber, recommend pressure is 50 to 80 PSI. You read the instructions, so go ahead and do it. Kingsong sends their electric unicycles in a locked mode so that they can't be turned on accidentally while being shipped. In the end, it was darkness bot on the Android that was able to unlock it. You guys will just have to fiddle with that when you get it. We finally got it set up, suspension set up, got it unlocked, tire filled, and my son just took it for a spin. I think he's really enjoying it. I don't know, here he comes and we'll see. All right, Ethan, what'd you think? I really love how it feels. Um, it's very smooth. Now you've tried some of these other wheels, the InMotion V11, the Abrams, the new Sherman Max. What do you think compared um, to this Kingsong S18? It's probably just my preference, but I like this one the best because of how lightweight and skinny it is compared to these. These are like a hundred pounds. Even brings up a good point. Some of these big wheels, they're powerful. They go far, they go fast, but they're also very heavy. And if you're a lightweight rider like my son, he weighs 120. And when you're riding a wheel like the Abrams or even the Sherman, where it weighs almost as much as you do, that is kind of ridiculous. Now, when you get a wheel that is more appropriate for your body weight, like the Kingsong S18, not only does it look good, it feels good. To give you an idea of how heavy these wheels are, we've got a scale here, and we're just gonna go ahead and weigh the wheels that we have. It sounds like the InMotion V12. 66.8 pounds. Veteran Abrams comes in at 100.4. This is the Veteran Sherman Max. 91.6. So you can see 91.6, 100 pounds. That's a lot when your weight is 120 pounds. So King Song S18 Special Edition. 56.6. So it's the lightest of all the wheels. Uh, it is an 18 inch wheel, so it's a bigger wheel than the V12. With these special battery packs, supposedly, we can draw more power from them. Even though the battery is smaller than the stock version, the battery cells themselves can provide the power that you need for longer, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go out for a quick ride. Um, we didn't get a chance to charge it up all the way just yet, but the weather's too beautiful to be stuck at home waiting for this to charge. So let's go and ride. <gasps> How does that compare to your 16S? Oh, way, way, way smoother. All right, let's keep going. So you may be hearing the King Song 18S beeping, and that's because King Song comes with kind of the safety feature that you have to put on so many miles before it lets you unlock it to go faster. And it'll beep at you if you try to surpass that speed. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just gonna cruise around, unlock the wheel for higher speeds so that later on we can really rip on it. All right, so we switched up. Ethan's on the Veteran Sherman Max. I'm on the S18 now. How do those bumps feel? They look very small, but you can still feel them a lot. So you can see every expansion crack he's going over, he's going, there's this little jolt. He's really feeling it. Whereas for me, it's like smooth like butter. I love how it just evens it out. Got your EUCs, huh? Oh, how do you know what an EUC right. is? You ride? I do. Oh, what is that, the 18? This is the S18, but it's the upgraded version. So the problem with the S18 before, it was kind of an anemic wheel because the design, it's so small, they couldn't fit very much power you're, into it. You're a uh, Chang. That's right, I am. Huh? Yeah. From YouTube. That's right, I'm from YouTube. This is my son, Ethan. Yeah. So you're just going for a little ride out here. We're huh? reviewing these guys. So this is the new Sherman. This is the Sherman Max. Oh, that's the Sherman Max. And then this is the new S18. It's called the S18 Special Edition. It's always fun to run into fans of the channel and chat with them. Yeah. Sounds like he's got an S20 on order. I feel so good on this. <laughs> How are you feeling? So bumpy. Ethan's gonna try doing that little bumpy hill that he did on the Sherman. Compare it with this King Song S18. <laughs> I can already tell by the smile on your face there was a difference. <laughs> yeah. What'd you think? 
super smooth. It's like you're riding on uh, pavement. So even those roots and bumps and cracks, no big deal with the suspension. All right, Ethan's gonna try doing some stairs. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now it's my turn to try the S18 on some stairs. Suspension makes a huge world of difference. You know, this it just felt, felt so good going down those stairs. It feels so lightweight, easy to control. But two things, because it doesn't have any jump pads on it or an aggressive enough jump pads, I just feel like my feet were shifting. If I were to buy this wheel, number one, I would get more aggressive jump pads or power pads so that my legs can have something to hold on to. And then number two, I would upgrade the pedals because the pedals are just your standard grip tape and I like the more aggressive pedals with the spikes. All right, we've been having a ton of fun riding the King Song S18 Special Edition with our special guest, my son, Ethan Chang. Ooh. If you guys found anything of value in this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. This EUC, we got it straight out of the pack, low charge, about 40%. It's down to probably around 15% now. So we're gonna take it home, charge it up, ride it around some more so we can give you guys a full review. Thanks for watching you guys and make sure when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.